Good evening, Eduardo. How are you today? Did you have a good day? Bueno, espero que haya tenido un buen día. Vamos a esperar tal vez algún minutito a ver si se une alguien más. Ahorita vamos a compartir. Hello, Gustavo. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I'm uh, very tired, but I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what about you? Mm, I am better than yesterday. <laughs> oh, better than yesterday. Yes, That's I... nice. Perfect. So, um, did you have a good day today? Yes, I had a good day any plans for the weekend mm, let me see i don't know maybe i'm going to visit my parents i usually visit my parents in on weekends and mm, for now only that now that's nice to share time with the family while it is possible so good plan it looks like a good plan. So um, thank you for being on time. Hi, Salvador. Thank you for joining today's section. Uh, we're going to start by doing a short review of yesterday's class. Remember that yesterday we were practicing about imperatives and we said a couple of things about imperatives such as that the imperative can be affirmative or negative. We also say that you don't need a subject. No subject is necessary in this structure. So you just need the verb and the complement in the case of a positive imperative. If it is a negative imperative, you need the auxiliary don't, then the verb, and then the complement. Eso es um, un pequeño repaso de lo que dijimos ayer de los imperatives. Y pues um, vamos a ponerlo en práctica ahora. Dando consejos. Uh, recordando que los imperatives decíamos que los utilizamos para dar consejos. Indicaciones, instrucciones, eh, órdenes, direcciones. Entonces, en este caso lo vamos a utilizar para dar eh, consejos, ¿ok? Eh, instrucciones de qué pueden hacer. Eh, write two pieces of advice for each person. Tenemos que escribir unas dos, como mínimo. Acuérdense que entre más se practica, es mejor. ¿Ok? Um, no conformarnos. Si podemos hacer más de dos, hagámoslo. Eh, tenemos el número uno, eh, dice, my feet hurt, that is the first situation. And number two, I have a sore wrist. Number three, I have the flu. And number four, it says, I can't sleep at night. Tenemos que escribir al menos dos consejos. Remember, vamos a usar imperativos para dar estos uh, consejos y eh, pueden ser afirmativos o negativos y ahí tenemos cada caso. Tenemos el primero, my feet hurt. ¿Qué le podríamos recomendar a alguien que le duelen los pies? Como primera recomendación, tal vez podría ser que no camine mucho. Don't walk too much. Uh -huh. ¿Algo más que le podrían recomendar que se les ocurre? Change your shoes, maybe. Change your shoes. Uh -huh. Don't wear high heels. Uh -huh. 
Don't no, wear high heels. Uh -huh, no, use tacones. Don't Exacto. wear high heels. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Any other thing that you can do? Ponerlos en agua tibia es riquísimo. Put your feet into warm water. Put your feet into warm water. Ya llevamos como cuatro, ¿verdad? Entonces sí se puede más de dos. Les voy a dar tiempito para que piensen en qué podríamos recomendar a los demás casos que están ahí. Y si se les ocurre algo más, algo diferente para el uno, bienvenido. Pueden irlos anotando en su cuaderno, les voy a dar tiempito. Okay, so what do you have for number two? I don't know, take a pill. Uh... Take a pill, yeah, that can be take a pill, take... Uh... Take an aspirin. Aspirin. Uh huh. What else can he do? It seems like he loves video games. 
Ah, ok. I, I can see the, 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 the control. Um, don't play video games for a time. Yes. Uh, take a break from video games. <laughs> take a break from video games or don't play video games for some time. Very good. Anything else for the number two? Take a message with cream muscle. Oh, nice. Get a message with uh, muscle cream. Yes, very good. Get a message with muscle cream. Very good. Anything else? Do you have anything else for this one? Put a bandage. Yes, very good. That can work. Put a bandage. Uh-huh. All right, number three, I have the flu. Take an aspirin. Take an aspirin. Take a shower. Yes, take a shower. That can be useful too, to take a shower. Mm -hmm. Put a... Clothes warm in your head. Uh, yeah, put wet clothes. Oh, uh, yes, put wet clothes in your forehead. Uh huh. Or in your head. Yes, that can work. Anything else? Mm hmm. Uh, have a hot tea. Have a hot tea. Yes, have a hot tea. Visit the doctor. Visit the doctor, yes. Get the COVID test. Coronavirus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, number four. I can't sleep at night. Take a glass of milk. Take a glass of milk. Mm -hmm. Listen, relax music. Listen to relax music. Uh -huh. Don't drink coffee before go to sleep. Uh -huh. Important. Don't drink coffee before sleep. Anything else? Drink a tea? Yes, drink tea. There are some teas that are especially for bedtime. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. You did an excellent job with this. Um, so we're going to move to the last thing from section two. Nos vamos a ir a lo último de la sección dos, que es la lectura. Uh, so, son imperatives. Cada lectura tiene un tema, un pequeño topic con el que eh, eh, es un imperativo. Uh, con esto terminaríamos la sección 2. Recuerden que pues, la respuesta es, ya se las envié, pero es importante que ustedes intenten hacer el ejercicio y si no les sale, pues vayan y vean las respuestas. Tenemos ya la sección 1, la sección 2. Mañana les voy a mandar los de la sección 3. Y pues eh, lo importante es que para el fin de semana ustedes aprovechen a completar todos, todos, todos los ejercicios de la sección 1, los de la sección 2, los de la sección 3 y tiene que estar completo también el midterm exam porque ya mañana sería la clase número 8. Eh, son 16 en total, entonces ya estamos a mitad de su módulo para el día de mañana y para entonces teníamos que tener como avance mínimo hasta la midterm exam 
Aún siendo el examen, ustedes pueden preguntar si están trabajando en él, decir no entiendo las indicaciones acá o este ejercicio no me sale bien, me da problemas y nosotros les podemos ayudar. Uh, a veces es nada más que hay una letra mal escrita, una palabra mal escrita, perdón, tenga alguna letra de más tal vez o tal vez se puso punto y la plataforma no lo reconoce así. Diferentes cosas. Entonces ustedes pueden venir y pedir ayuda aún siendo que estén trabajando en el examen. Así que por eso no se preocupen y traten de completarlo el fin de semana. Recuerden que a partir de lunes no van a haber clases por lo de la Semana Santa. Entonces mañana tenemos la última clase de la semana. De ahí vamos a tener el break de la Semana Santa y regresamos a clase el lunes siguiente. O sea, de este lunes que viene al otro. Así que, pues, buenas noticias. Van a descansar de las clases por una semana y, pues, tener en cuenta que es muy importante que también tengan completos sus um, ejercicios y que hagan algún tipo de repaso en ese tiempo. Así es que, pues, sin más, vamos a la plataforma para que podamos eh, ver el video. Y... y se me desapareció el mouse. Bueno, se ha quedado congelado desde un tiempito. Que reaccione. Vamos a ver qué es, qué es, qué es. Un poquito de trouble. Okay, ahí está. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. By reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 Simple Ways to Improve Your Health Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 6. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. 8. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. 9. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk and cheese, have calcium. 10. Take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk, or sit down and listen to music.
Okay, here you have what you already listened in the platform, which is the reading of 10 ways to improve your health. So let's see, do we have a volunteer to read the number one? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Number one, eat breakfast. Breakfast gives your energy for the morning. Okay, energy. Energy. Excellent, thank you so much. Okay, that is a good advice, eat the breakfast, because it is said that mm, breakfast provides energy for the rest of the day. So it's a good advice. Uh, new vocabulary, I creo que no habrían palabritas nuevas, ¿verdad? So we can continue no. with number two. Thank you so much. A volunteer for number two. Me? Okay. Um, vamos a ver number two. Eh, más o menos. Bueno, Gustavo, number two. Eh, la number three, Luis. And la number four, eh, Salvador. Okay. Go for a walk. Walking is a walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. Thank you so much, Gustavo. New vocabulary there? All right, it's quite simple. Number three? For me, only the, the phrase, go for a walk. Si ah. me yo dijera, go, go walk. But, but go for, for a go for a ah, walk. Se, sería yeah. como decir, ir por una caminada. Ve por una sí, caminata. Bueno. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ve por una caminata. Go for a walk. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, number three. Okay. Plus your teeth. Don't just brush them. Brush and keep your gums healthy. Very good. Thank you so much. New vocabulary for number three. Plus. Eh, floss es la acción de pasar el hilo uh -huh. en los dientes. Gums. En sillas. En ah, sillas. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Any other question? Only that. Ok, good. Tenemos vocabulario nuevo. That's excellent. A volunteer for number four, we said Salvador, creo que va. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. A drink eight glass of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. In many ways. In many ways. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. I think no new vocabulary here, right? Uh, no, teacher. Yeah, excellent. Right. Thank you so much, number five, volunteer. Uh, me, teacher. Thank you, Eduardo. Uh, it's, it's stress for five minutes. It's 13 is important for your muscles. 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 Okay, very good. So, any new vocabulary here? Tenemos vocabulario nuevo. Um, stretching and this is five minutes. Stretch, stretching. Of stretching is important. Okay, stretching. Ajá, stretching. Stretching. Ajá, el verbo stretch es, es estirarse. Okay. El, estirarse. El estiramiento es importante para tus músculos. Stretching is important for your muscles. Okay, teacher. Nice. Thank you for your questions and participation as well. Let's listen to number six. Do we have volunteer for number six? Okay, me, teacher. teacher. Okay. Okay, adelante. Okay, thank you. 
six, get an out calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy food like yogurt, yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Okay, nice. Got get enough calcium. Questions get enough here. Calcium. Muy bien. Thank you. Uh, get enough calcium. Volunteers to. Bueno, veamos si hay vocabulario en el seis. No, right? No, no, right. Okay. No. Angélica, creo que quería leer uno. Or not? Mm, volunteer for number seven, then. Okay, me, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay. The sounds time. To challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Okay, thank you so much, Salvador. Thank you for your participation. Vamos entonces a ver qué nos dice la número siete. Dice, do something to challenge your brain. Okay, you know challenge? Desafío. El desafío, hay que hacer algo para desafiar. The brain, el ¿qué era el brain? Cerebro. Cerebro. Ajá, haz, haz algo. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do esa palabra crossword puzzle. Crucigrama. Ajá. Crucigrama. Es un okay. crucigrama. Eh, ahí se alcanza a ver, no sé si todavía salen en el diario. Tengo un montón de no sí. comprar un diario. <risa> sí. Sí, okay, nice. So those are the crossword puzzle. Crossword puzzle. Porque es como, es, es, son palabras cruzadas y es como un rompecabezas. Sí, son dificilitos. Do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. That's nice. Uh, number eight, volunteer. Me teacher. Thank you. Take a time out, a break, or about, or about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk, or sit down and listen to music. Excellent. Eso es very simple. The vocabulary here is simple, right? Or do you have any question? Yo lo veo simple, pero si hay alguna pregunta, digan. Porque nosotros podemos asumir <ríe> que es sencillo. Pero pues, ¿questions? No. El take a time out es como tómate un tiempo fuera. Sí, sí, sí. Hay que escaparse, aunque sea por 20 minutitos. Si está todo el día en la computadora, eso es malo. Hay que tomarse un tiempo, un descanso, incluso de ver televisión. Hay gente que solo eso hace. Entonces, take a time out. Hay que tomarse un tiempo fuera. Un receso, a break of about 20 minutes can be a good thing to do. Uh, number nine. Volunteer to read. Thank you so much. Nine, wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. Mm -hmm. yeah, very important. Questions here? We are Wear es eh, llevar puesto. Ese es okay. el verbo wear, llevar puesto. Ok, thanks. Y no solo es con, el, con la cuestión del cinturón, no es llevar puesto cinturón, wear. En este caso nos especifica wear a seatbelt. Hay que en vez usar o llevar puesto un cinturón de seguridad. Eh, pero where también podría ser si yo dijera, uh, yo uso un uniforme, yo he visto un uniforme. I wear a uniform, por ejemplo. Ok. Ok, Ajá. ok. Eh, lo que uno lleva puesto, yo puedo decir si anduviera una chaqueta, I wear a jacket for my job. También puedo decir que de repente me pongo una chaqueta para mi trabajo. I wear a jacket for my job. Sometimes I wear it. Sometimes I don't. Um, let's listen the last one, the number 10. 
protect your skin. Y esta, creo que le tienen miedo porque si esta palabra es eh, un poco dificilita, es moisturizer. 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 Excelente. Moisturizer. Al verla escrita así decimos, ay Dios mío, ¿qué es eso? Pero no es tan difícil la pronunciación, es moisturizer. Ajá. En este caso, el verbo es moisturize, humectar, moisturize. El moisturizer es el noun, es como decir humectante. Ajá. Entonces nos aconseja que usamos humectante y el sunscreen es protector solar. Solar. Ahora, voluntario para leer, number 10. Okay, thank you. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Okay, important to protect your skin as well. Es importante también protegerse la piel. Eh, recuerden que pues esto es parte de la plataforma y hay una lectura. Eh, después de esta lectura hay unos ejercicios que los pueden hacer, aunque también eh, eh, creo que solo es de seleccionar eh, lo, eh, un puntito, una opción correcta. Es bastante simple, pero igual. Y si de repente por alguna razón eh, sale mal, ahí están ya las respuestas, se las mandé al grupo. Y con eso estaríamos finalizando la sección 2 y pues nos movemos al contenido de la sección 3. Ya es que está cargando todavía. Ok, it's done. Let me see. Ok, so the topic of this section, tenemos el tema de esta sección es You can't miss it. Any idea of what is it? Cuando decimos esta frase, You can't miss it. ¿A qué nos referimos? You can't miss it. No te lo puedes perder. Ah, es como, pues, hay más o menos, cuando alguien está preguntando una dirección o, o decir, ¿dónde queda Metrocentro? Es como decir, uh, it's Metrocentro, it's um, near the Mágico González, es ahora, ¿no? O el que era el Flor yes. Blanca. Ok. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. so you can say, ah, oh, Metro Centro is near the Mágico González. You can't miss it. Pues no te puedes perder. Está fácil de llegar. Entonces, cuando le, para decirle a alguien, no te puedes perder. Como decir, está fácil. La frase que se usa es, you can't miss it. You can't eh, miss it. Uh -huh. Y ese es el tema de la sección 3. Eh, vamos a estar... Um, aprendiendo a usar las preposiciones de lugar, más o menos a ubicar, a dar direcciones, el significado de algunas preposiciones y en eso se basa la sección 3. Así que pues vamos a ver el primer video que es Vocabulary, Places and Things. Hi everyone, in this class you learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six, you can buy stamps at a post office. Seven, you can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight, you can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. 
you can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so here we have the vocabulary about places and things. Y tenemos el ejercicio que vamos a desarrollar ahorita. Va a ser eh, poner uh, en una, en el cuaderno puede ser escribir qué más podemos hacer en estos lugares. So we have a post office. ¿Qué más podemos hacer en una oficina postal además de comprar estampitas? Send a package. Uh-huh. You can send a package in a package. post office. Mm -hmm. You can receive. También podemos recibir, Receita. ¿verdad? You can receive mm -hmm. a, a package. A package. Or, or mm -hmm. a letter okay. as well. You can receive a letter um, or documents. Documents. Uh-huh. Documents in a post office. Good. Now we have a drugstore. Try to write examples. Traten de escribir ejemplos de qué otras cosas se pueden hacer en cada uno de estos lugares. Al menos dos ejemplos. Los pueden escribir en su cuaderno y luego vamos a revisar. Have you finished or you need more time?
Okay, let's listen. What else can you do at the drugstore? I can buy aspirin. Yeah, you can buy aspirin. What else? Um, can buy calcium. You can get calcium, vitamins. Uh-huh. Can you see a doctor in a drugstore? Antes se podía hoy, no sé. Can you visit a doctor or can you see a doctor in a drugstore? It's all well. It's all well. In some of them. Okay. All right. What else can you do in a drugstore? You can buy gas and oil for the motor. Oh, in a gas station? Okay. Gas station. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Buy a snack in the food mart. Yes, you can buy snacks in the food mart. Mm -hmm. You can check the motor and the tires. You can get them the engine and the Those tires mm -hmm. checked. Okay, excellent. You can get the engine and the tires checked. Mm -hmm. What else? You can check the water. Check the water, uh-huh. Anything else that you can do there? You can buy snacks. In a gas station, you can get snacks. Mm -hmm. I can check the price on the tire. Oh, you can check the tire's pressure. Okay. And uh, what about a department store? What can you do in a department store? Mm -hmm. I can buy the t-shirt. A lot of things. A lot of things. You can buy a lot of things. You I can buy. buy hmm? I can buy t-shirt. Oh, you can buy your t-shirts there. Okay. You can buy shoes. Shoes. Uh -huh. I can buy shirt. Mm-hmm. You can get a um, nice present. Yeah, you can buy your presents there. Mm -hmm. You can buy earrings. Earrings, nice. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what else can you do in a bank? Mm -hmm. I can, I can apply to loan for a loan. You can ask for a loan. Yes, of course. You can ask for a loan. What else? You can Pay a, get credit, a card. credit card. Pay a credit card. Yes. You can pay the bills. Pay the bills. Important. Yes, you can pay the bills there. You can change money. Exchange yeah. money or currency. You know currency? Moneda, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so you can exchange currency. Mm -hmm. Now, what can you do in a bookstore? I can read a book. You can meet people. You can read books, you can meet people, uh-huh. You can buy books. Buy books, meet people, okay. Uh, what about the coffee shop? What can you do in a coffee shop? 
you can drink different kind of coffee? Mm -hmm. You can eat, uh, eat sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can drink different kind of coffee mm -hmm. and you can get um let's see also a you can eat a dessert a, a dessert uh-huh hot and cold okay you can get hot and coffee some be bebidas um uh-huh or you can Brewed. say Brewed. drinks as well okay mm -hmm. Brewed. And you can get snacks, mm -hmm. desserts, uh huh. You can buy. You can read a magaz a magazine with a. You coffee. can sit there mm. read a magazine with a delicious coffee. Yes. Now, you can listen music. Oh, you can listen to music as well, and you can. Mm. Uh, uh yes you can take your computer and work from there while you enjoy a delicious coffee mm -hmm. mm -hmm. very good now in a supermarket what can you do in a supermarket i can buy the beer buy beer for the weekend <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> for the vacation Oh, for vacations as yes. well. Yes. Six yes. <laughs> to prepare micheladas. Oh my mm -hmm. God. <laughs> ¿Saben alguna promoción? Avisen. <laughs> <laughs> en el grupo. <laughs> no. Sí, claro. <laughs> no guarden, nos, nos matan. <laughs> okay, what else can you do in a supermarket? You can buy meat. Oh, you can buy meat. Mm -hmm. Besides uh, shopping for groceries, um, um, además de comprar abarrotes, that's groceries. Um, okay. Besides shopping for groceries, what else can we do in a supermarket? Además de comprar, ¿qué podemos hacer ahí? You can pay uh, bills. You can pay bills. Uh -huh. You can eat some food. Yes, there's the lunch, um, the uh -huh. breakfast, dinner. Yes, I can, I can receive the remesa. <laughs> uh, yes, also. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can eat there and you can withdraw money from your um from the people who sent you from another country. Uh-huh. So puede retirar ese dinero. Let's see, withdraw. Cargas para celular. And let's see with the money. Uh -huh. Withdraw money. With Raymond. Uh huh. So you can um. Okay, so you can withdraw money from um. From the people who sent you from other countries. Mm hmm. Oh, you can purchase credit for your um for your uh, cell phone, right? Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What other things I can uh also you can pay the credit cards, right? Okay. Yes, you can pay your credit card. También se puede pagar la tarjeta de crédito. Los estados de las tarjetas de crédito, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. Basically, also, yeah, you can do a lot of things there. Uh, creo que eso son, creo que eso sería todo. Uh, so let's listen uh, to the pronunciation of compound nouns. Eh, vamos a ver qué es un nombre compuesto y la pronunciación de ellos. <coughs> ok. 
Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office. Gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Do you have any question about the video that we just seen? Tienen preguntas acerca del video? ¿Es quedó no, claro? Sure. No. Okay, so quedó claro que son los compound nouns. ¿Y cómo eh, la pronunciación? Sí, claro. Ah, ok. Sonar más fuerte. Claro. Ajá, la sí. palabra del principio es la que suena como con estrés, eh, que es el, so, hacer que suene un poquito más alto. Y un compound noun eh, son dos nombres, eh, como ya hemos dicho, y hemos visto una plataforma en videos anteriores. Un nombre es cualquier cosa que nos rodea. Todo lo que nos rodea es noun. Computer, cat, window, um, etc. Person, todo, todo, todo. Entonces son, en el ejemplo de acá tenemos gas. Es un nombre. O sea, significa gas, gasolina. Y station es una estación. Entonces, um, eh, separado significa una cosa. Gas es gasolina, station es estación. Y si lo ponemos junto, es otra cosa. Es gas station no. es una gasolinera. Right? Hacen un nombre no. diferente al juntarlos. Eh, ahora, el restroom, por ejemplo, rest es descansar. ¿Verdad? Es un descanso. Room es un cuarto, pero si lo juntamos, restroom es un, baño, baño. Baño. un inodoro, un baño. Ajá, es, hace una palabra diferente. Entonces los compound nouns se componen de dos nouns para hacer una, formar una palabra diferente. Y el estrés, la fuerza de voz, 
normalmente y lo más común es que la encontremos en el primer noun. Entonces, les voy a poner el audio para que ustedes repitan en casa. Ok. Page 87, exercise 4, pronunciation. Compound nouns. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Post Gas office. station. Gas Restroom. Restroom. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Drug store. Drug store. Book store. Book store. Supermarket. Supermarket. Department store. Department store. Page 87, Exercise 4, Pronunciation, Compound Nouns, Part A, Listen and Practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Post office. Gas station. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drug store. Book store. Supermarket. Department store. Okay, so that will be it for today. Uh, dejaríamos la clase hasta acá. I know it's late and you're tired. So see you tomorrow. Remember, mañana es la última clase de la semana y luego pues van a descansar. So uh, see you tomorrow. See you, See you tomorrow, tomorrow teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.